Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to do a new book review. And it is for the bag making bible from Lisa Lam, which is one of my all time favorite bag making book. Uh, I would recommend this to any beginners, uh, whether you're a beginner altogether to sewing or from bag making, this is a great book to have in your collection. So before we start with a review, um, yeah, I've not been uh, uploading for a couple of weeks. Um, I've been I've been a bit overwhelmed with college work, so I wanted to apologize. No video. Uh, I've, I've not been very good at adulting altogether for the last few weeks. Um, I've been I've been a slug, you know, on my couch, trying to survive life. And uh, now it seems like I've, I'm awake, so I can go back to life and uh, be a beautiful butterfly and go ahead with my life. I'm talking crap, so. Yes, but I'm planning on making a video on being a mature student. So if you have any questions, you can leave some questions down below. Um, by the way, you don't have to just do for students. I'm hoping to do a Q&A very soon. So any questions would be appreciated. Okay, this book, uh, it's made by Lisa Lam, as I've told you, and she's British and she's, ba she's based down south, I think. Not that you care, but she is. And she also has a website where she sells kits, bag making supplies, uh, accessories, things like that. Uh, it's a great, great website if you're looking for, for stuff for bag making because uh, you will quickly see if you are not into bag making but want to be, that finding good um, supplies for bag making is hard. It can be hard or it's always the same thing that is available. So it's nice to have a bit of choice. Uh, she was about to close her website, if I'm not mistaken, but I think she decided against it and kept it open. So yeah, that's good. I have ordered in the past and I, um, I will tell you a bit more about the kits that you can order from her um, later on once we've talked about it. Okay, so she wrote two books. This is the first one and that's the only one that I've ever had. But I've heard that the second one is really good as well. So this one is going to take you um, in a journey through making bags and learning how to make them. Uh, it will go like any crafting book. It will go through the motions, you know, with all the beginning bits. So the basics, your sewing machine, all the equipment that you need, things like that. But one thing I really like is that she tells you a bit more about understanding patterns. So how to read a pattern, which is always quite good. So if you are uh, afraid of having to deal with patterns, it's quite good. And also she teaches you how to grade your pattern. So if you like something, but you find that maybe you would like it into a different size, you can actually change that size yourself. And that is good. Also, she will go through how to add stuff if you want to pockets, zipper, things like that. Um, so you do not have to be confined into just that little box that you have your pattern in. You, you can expand and do something else. Um, like most crafting books, you will learn different techniques through projects. So you have a number of back projects. Uh, what I like with these is that most of them, when I read the book the first time, I thought that I would want to make most of them and I would genuinely use most of them. That's the problem I have with many crafting books is that, yeah, the project is all right, but I don't necessarily think that I would make it or that it, there is enough for me to make it my own. And I think that's a strength from this book that it, even so it's not your style, for example, this book is not your style, this bag is not your style, but you can, you can, you get enough tools here to actually make it your own and that's quite good. Um, I just love all the different techniques that she teaches you. Um, she teaches you as well about fabric, which I think is always a great thing to have. Uh, with dressmaking, I'm still very confused sometimes when I'm at the fabric store trying to find the right fabric. And it's very hard to visualize whether what you like here on the bolt is going to look good on you. And it's the same problematic for bags, except it's not necessarily about the draping, but is it strong enough? Is it heavy enough? All of this kind of stuff. She teaches you as well about interfacing and interlining. 
which uh, can be very confusing for people at the beginning when they're starting. So this book here is very complete. So if you're a beginner, it's great. It takes you by the hand without taking you for an idiot and uh, it teaches you a lot of things. And if you're already seasoned and you just want to have good projects, these ones will still teach you stuff and it gives you very nice projects. So that's really good, um, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I have never made any of the bags that she is showcasing in these um, but I have used her techniques and her instructions uh, to make all the bags because I find that her explanations are better, simply put, and there's a lot of stuff where I've tried to make my own design and I've used her techniques to put it into my own thing, so that's really good. But what I've done is I've ordered from her website before and she has those little purse kits uh, where you can buy um, all the hardware that goes with the kit plus all the fabric and stuff like that and you just have to make it yourself. I love these. I've made quite a few for presents and it's always been very well received and um, I just love this. Very easy to follow and then once you have the pattern you just need to buy the hardware again and you can use it over and over again. So what I have here, I don't know if they have it still on the website, but I'm sure she has replaced it with other things. But that was the big bubble purse, I think. Uh, but this closure is amazing. I think any person that's seen this one feel, falls in love with this closure. So it's a big bubble closure and with the inside. It was my very first time um, making um, this type of little purse things. Um, I've, again, it's it's a purchase that I've made just because I love the concept, but I've never used it. So I've used it as a pencil case because I didn't really know what to do. Uh, and it's a bit messy because there's a bit of glue everywhere because it was my first time. So I didn't really want to give that as a present. So I've been using it as a, a very fancy pencil case. <laughs> uh, but I've made a few. Um, I mean, I was in love with the cookie clutches. Um, I'll put some pictures on uh, if I can find them. They were little coin purses and every every time I gifted that it was just very well received. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. My hair is all over the place. <laughs>